performance benchmarking is really where we start to benchmark the buildings against their other peers. But we're actually, once we've done this process, we're able to out of the box create generic key performance indicators or KPIs. So in this case, we've got standard ones, which is energy. So the energy KPI would be made up of utility submetering, uh, sorry, utility bills or submetering. So that would give you an energy KPI. Comfort is when we've connected to the building management system. So we're getting supply air temperature, temperature set point and ambient air conditions. So we can actually give you a comfort score. And then maintenance KPI is for um, particular opportunities that have you know, poorly performing equipment, broken equipment, outstanding work orders if we've integrated to a work order platform. Now, these are the three basic ones. They're not by no means um, the end. We can have uh, KPIs that relate to refrigeration. We can have ones for indoor air quality and so on. So these are just an example of KPIs that we've built um, for performance benchmarking. Now, if I draw our attention to the portfolio and in particular, this location in Denver, you can actually see here the comfort KPI is down from the portfolio average of 75. From here, I'm able to look at my, you know, alerts that I can see here that are affecting my KPI score. We can see here there's five that are predominant and they're, they're at, a at a critical level within the platform. So this might be where you stop. This could be a facilities manager sitting down in the morning, having a look at their portfolio in one place. You're able to look at the portfolio, then drill down into individual sites, which you typically can't do in any BMS because you often don't have a standard BMS across all of your building portfolio. So the switch platform helps you consolidate all of the building systems into one single user interface. So these alert notifications have come from this Denver location. I'm gonna click through here now. This is the alerts analysis part of the platform. This is where you may then use a subject matter expert to un understand and identify the data that's within this particular screen. You could do it yourself. I mean, some facilities managers are engineers, but then also, you know, the vendor that may be responsible for repairing this fault would come to site and then analyze. So. As you can see in the chart here, we're actually looking at the interval data coming from the building management system here. I've connected to an air handler unit here. I'm looking at the occupancy command and the supply air temperature. Now at 9 a.m., the supply air temperature started to increase. Um, at a point here, at about 11 a.m., it actually got to a critical threshold, which is where the shading has turned red. And then after the fact, it's actually been fixed. So this has happened back in time, but this was fixed via vendor. So we've got validation also within this screen. From here, we actually can hand over to potentially a trusted vendor, or we might actually do a little bit more investigation, you know, ourselves. So I can actually, from this screen, create an event that I might want to send to an vendor, and I'll, and I'll go into the events in a moment. I could control this unit if it was compatible um, with the underlying subsystem. So, you know, a standard protocol like BACnet or Modbus. But in this case, I'm actually going to jump into site analysis to give me a little bit more understanding of when this alert triggered, what else was going on with this air handler unit. Okay, this is the site analysis tool in the switch platform. I can actually come into here now. It's brought me in with my uh, air handler occupancy status and the supply air temperature. But with this lobby air handler unit, I'm actually going to look at the chill water valve along with the fan speed. So now I can actually see here that the chill water valve got stuck. You can see the green line is where the chill water valve didn't open um, when the unit was called for, for cooling. Um, and it was all the way along to here where the temperatures all increased, it got to that critical threshold. And then technician was dispatched, fixed on site, and we've got validation ongoing from here. So actually within this part of the platform, we can actually trend all the interval data from any subsystem that we might have in here. So we want to trend waste, we want to trend submeters, we want to trend BMS. This is a very, very powerful tool within the platform for charting and data analytics and in, insight into the interval data that we're collecting.
Coming back to our overview page, this is where we now kick into the performance optimization of the Switch platform.